going to be your son and his mother's here. This next man is a guy that you want to be your brother. This next man is a guy that you would want to be your lead educator. This next man is someone that grew up like you have, that you are doing. He did the things that you've done, the things that you want to do. This next man is a verb, because it's about One of his quotes is, I don't rest when I'm tired, I rest when I'm done. I don't rest when I'm tired, I rest when I'm done. You go to school on Monday, and someone says, how I'm doing? Don't say, oh, I'm good. No, everything cool. I want you guys to say I'm well and watch your reaction on your teacher's face. Increasing, attendance is increasing, and failure is dropping. 65% of the children that come into our school are partially proficient we're having a 90% graduation rate. We're beating the odds. We're about to head into a local barbershop in Patterson with a lot of the former athletes of the town come to get their hair cut and, and discuss some prominent issues going on in the, in the country. I mean, you think about it, you know, yeah, he was aggressive, but all coaches do that. You know what I mean? But now the media taking out of control, though. They, you know, they they going too far with it. Three games and brought it to the president. He brought it to the attention of the president. There we go, right there. What's up, baby? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's up, man? I think you took it overboard, but I don't think they should have fired him. Yes, sir, please, for Rutgers. And you see the video of Coach calling him a faggot and then hit him in the back of the head with a basketball. How do you react coming from where you from? Coming where I'm from? Yeah. You call me whatever you call me soft? Yeah. You call me but you know what you're you going to call me no faggot. They getting me, young men, from high school. You trust to go to college. You, you telling your parents, right. you telling these parents that, hey, you know what? I got your son. I'm going to make sure your son is good. This and that. So you're lying to your parents. If that situation came to you, how would you deal with the situation? He fired. And remember now, Rutgers already made a decision to suspend him and not fire him. It wasn't until the media really got involved that they decided to fire him. My thoughts is, is a thin line. It's a thin line between motivation and abuse. Mr. Mills is different from all the other principals because you can tell that he truly understands and cares about us. I see Mr. Mills on a trip, you know, joking around with the students. He knows us on a first name basis, whereas the other principals probably didn't even know if I was a student here. It, everything's just changed. The security guards were doing their job, we were getting to class on time. There were more programs for us to be involved in. I'm like, okay, this was really changing. At one point, I was really thinking about transferring from the school. I didn't think I would belong here, but as soon as Mr. Will came in, came into that position, I was like, okay, I'm staying because 
I'm proud of him. Like he's been doing his job. He doesn't come in trying to move stuff. He just comes in, gives you options of whether or not you want to behave, whether you choose what you choose is your outcome. So it gives you a lot of freedom as to where other principals were just banging down your throat or weren't even here most of the time. And it just provides that stability that students need to learn and to be successful in life, which is what the principal knows did for us. Mr. Mills cares for us because he wants to see us succeed for a long life. Our test scores are higher. We're offering us AP classes right now. Me and my friends are taking all these elite classes that I feel as though with other principals that probably would not have happened. And he brought in like motivational speakers. He brought in people who teach us about credit and how to like invest in something that will better our future. Um, and he's just involved in every aspect of our lives. I feel like he's like maybe my second father. Because he tells me the same exact thing my father tells me. Especially with boys, friends. You know, there's a great decrease in fights. I haven't even seen a fight my senior year or my junior year either. So Mr. Mills is doing an absolutely great job and I am so proud and honored to say that he is the principal of Malcolm X Shabazz High School and that I will be graduating the class of 2013 with him as my principal as well. Even if I need help with school, because he knows I'm a math freak and he likes math, so if I need help, I'm going to go to him. That's basically it. He really helped me mature. So, thank you, Mr. Williams. We appreciate you.